Welcome back, everyone. We're going to keep going with this rookie mock it up before you fuck it up draft. We got pick two, four coming up here. What do you got, Big Co? Now you may pick. I'm going to have to stop the slide. I'm going to grab Anthony Miller right here. Should have been out of the draft years ago, but he. Super he excited to <laughs> put my team name and logo on him, Put it, let him put a hat on, get a picture taken, hug, yeah. the, hug the commish, Anthony Miller. He's your number one jersey, but you're not going to win number one. Yeah, well, number two, right? In the second round? Yeah. Right. So uh, Speaking of that, let's talk that about why, why we're excited to, yeah. dra- to draft Anthony Miller. <laughs> so Anthony Miller, they, the Bears trade up to get him after they've already signed a, a big-name wide receiver and brought in a the you know the flashiest tight end free agency guy in the market. So Two of them. Two of them. So they bring in they bring in Anthony Miller and you know Roto World's got the quote that got the uh, air quotes that he's uh, penciled in as the slot receiver guy. Um, not sure. Just take a whiff of a sharpie over yeah. there. It's falling asleep. <laughs> like the salts on the yeah. sidelines. Yeah, I could probably take a whiff of one of those. Um, we got some essential oils. Anthony Miller's like, help. give me a sharpie whiff. I can, I need to perk up over here. He, we're sorry, Anthony Miller. You fell asleep on this, you know, in the green room over there. We somehow tried to justify taking a couple of, you know, fourth round running backs over, over you. you. Yeah. And, and Mine then, was strictly driven on team. Right, right. Team needs. So, Anthony Miller, I hope you're the absolute stud of the draft class. We're so sorry to pick you at two four here. Um, Feel bad. For stuff me, your sorrows in a sack, Mister. Right. <laughs> For me, it was uh, this, this was a this was a really really fun pick here. I I did it was I had Anthony Miller. We've already mentioned Gusecki's name a couple times, and we and James Washington, who I absolutely love to death. No, I love him to death. So, no way, I do. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't go wrong here. I had three guys that I liked. The running backs were gone. There's no. I mean, I was. I felt like I was free. I'm open. I'm open. To, you know, my, <laughs> the running I, back chains have broken yeah, off. I'm and just you're ready to draft the wide receiver. Here I am at two four, and I just don't have the uh, automatic running back pick to be made. So, uh, I've Anthony Miller again. Probably could have taken him where I took Kalen Balaja two one. Jay Wayne could have taken him where Michael Gallup goes off. Naheen Hines. We tried to justify that screw yep. up. You know. Yeah. So here we are, Anthony Miller. Plugging into a team. Worst to first, choo choo. <laughs> choo choo. Bad team name. Was it, is it, are we supposed to read into that? that that's a train? Yeah. Choo choo. Dude's got, dude's got a couple of running backs that have some potential. He's got Derrick Henry coming in. He's got Leonard Fournette that's getting you know all the volume. Latavius Murray looked really good last year when Dalvin Cook got hurt. And I just, there's no way you can force a running back on this team with Hines, got Sony with, Michelle with, with Hines and Balaj already gone. Exactly. There's nobody and, really left. Sony Michelle's already on the team. So you look here and Gasecki's out there. But the one big thing for me was he's got Gronk. He's I got mean, Gronk. He's close to hanging it up, possibly. He's got Gronk and Njoku. And, and Gasecki is probably, you know, the way the high end. Top drafted tight ends go. Obviously, Hayden Hurst went earlier because he's a dual threat blocking tight end. But Gasecki's going to be plugged into an Adam Gase situation where, yeah, Adam Gase gets a lot of credit for tight ends. Let's be honest. Peyton Manning was throwing the ball to, uh, to you know, what's his name? Orange Julius. Julius, yeah. Julius Thomas. So Peyton Manning was throwing it to Julius Thomas. So let's see if Adam Dallas Gase. Clark. Let's see if Adam Gase can get some targets over here to Gasecki. But they did take him, and he did, like, crush the combine, and his highlight tapes of catching touchdowns is inevitable. You can't take it away from him. And with Gronk and Joku, with Gronk and Joku, it was it was Anthony Miller for me here. And again, it was it was a it's a it's a tough decision for me on James Washington. And I got to tell you, now that I'm, I get a chance to do it, I'm loving the fact that James Washington's slipping in all these drafts. I got my eyes on him in some rookie drafts coming up with some some mid to late so mid, to, mid to late second round picks. But this uh, is a good pickup for depth in the receiving core. He's he's lacking. He's got Golden Tate and Devontae Parker, Muhammad Sanu, um, and then he's got old. Uh, godwin down here in switzer chris godwin's a very solid talent and Ger- i like he, the flyer that that could be jerron brown obviously brandon marshall gets just gets signed into seattle but i've really liked the potential opportunity for jerron brown in that offense um still there i mean b marsh is like 40 um yeah. so yeah not a lot of tight end, not a lot of wide receiver i mean Devonte parker's still yet to be seen you hadn't seen him in two years since Jake, starting to build Jake, up. Jake cutler was throwing him the ball yeah. 
And Golden Tate's going to get you 90 catches. You know that. And, you know, Calvin Ridley comes in here to get, get a little muddy with Muhammad Sanu. So, yeah, here we go. Anthony Miller's on this team, and I feel good about it for the guy. For sure. I mean, he needed some some wide receiver depth. He's best player available, in my opinion. Has for sure. been maybe for a few picks now. Right. Um, yeah. The the bummer is, is in actuality, when we get to this draft, Anthony Miller will probably be gone. And I'm not that it's a bummer, but he probably get James Washington. Uh, somebody would have to take Kalen Balaj up there and Naheem Hines up there for him to get uh anthony miller for the or gallup or somebody else oh so, for him i right. see what you're saying yeah because of the way we've tried so, to yeah, two, four, plug four, i'd be back. ecstatic to have right. anthony yeah. miller so he's gonna there. get a, a receiver stab here if he if he wants one he's probably gonna have a good chance at james washington with no problem or somebody like it's or like gallup, we said earlier maybe, yeah. all these players are jumbled up receiver wise everyone likes different guys exactly a lot of person that personal you know a opinion on where these guys should go once you get past the calvin ridley's and the suttons of the world well, we've done a lot of talking about anthony miller throughout the first three picks if you want to go back and listen to the why we weren't why we wanted to tank anthony miller but we didn't but to kind of wrap this guy up really quickly i mean he's just he's really fun to watch he's a tough gritty guy he's fought for everything he's ever had to get he, he came on as a walk-on he put up 22 bench reps which to me really speaks to the work ethic. Boy, that boy's strong. Yeah, um, 5'11", 190. Right. Putting, those, putting that up. Thick up. He's awesome against the sideline. He's got a great toe drag. He works well in condensed areas, and he's solid after the catch. He's built like a running back. Um, and then he didn't he didn't participate in the combine. He was hurt. But then he comes out on his pro day, runs a six six five three cone drill, has a 39-inch vertical, and so ran, six, a, seven. ran a 4.5 right. flat. Uh, forty, so like a four, 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 five, four, five. Five, four five, five, right? Which none of those, those which he's coming pretty, off a foot injury, so he's probably still lacking some explosion. Which doesn't right. even matter because he's so good. The coaches knew it. They traded up, took him in the second round. Right. And I don't give a crap. That the he best, wasn't. the best thing about this guy uh, is obviously I love the grittiness and the lunch pail hard hat mentality and all that kind of stuff. But his red zone prowess is outstanding. There you go. Him and Mitch need to get on. Mitchell needs to understand this and get on the same page. He just get it's he's impossible to guard in the box. Well, that Can't that put takes him in you, a box. That take impossible to guard in the box is, is a really good good talent for a wide receiver to have. That takes you right back to kind of what I was saying when I you guys said, "Hey, I can't believe you didn't take Anthony Miller at 2-1 and then both of you didn't take him." So anyway, mine got, was predicated on needs. You, <laughs> yours was wants. <laughs> you got right. I like that. You got you got <laughs> a, a, Allen Robinson's definitely a red zone threat. Trubisky can run around with his legs, so he could t- he could run it in. Jordan Howard has proven to be able to pound a rock. Tariq Cohen's going to be all over the place. Nobody knows where he's even going to be. And then you got um, Trey Burton, who done did nothing but catch touchdowns when Zach Hurts got hurt. So unless either Anthony Miller is Trubisky's favorite target in the red zone, or Trubisky comes out and crushes 30, 30 or thirty five touchdowns this year in his second year. There comes my logic of saying I want to take the home run cut on a running back over the guy Anthony Miller. That being said, all Anthony Miller has to do is show just what Chris Godwin did down the stretch, that he's a capable NFL receiver, and all of this love that we gave Anthony Miller pre-draft is Except warranted. he's going to get so much more opportunity than Godwin is. But the, all, you, all you got to do is just show that you can play football, and everybody that loves you loves you even more. So... I think that Anthony Miller is going to come out here on an up-and-coming offense, and I know it could. I think it's going to be great for him because you don't have to have the pressure of being Gallup or any of those other guys, and there is other options to go to, and Anthony Miller should be the one of the least guarded players on the field. Least guarded and players. And should be able to get a nice red zone rapport to go to the open man, which Anthony Miller does well. I love all that. Anthony Miller is not going to be the first read, but he, it, at the same time, he definitely could be the first read as in a la hey look off the safety or look over here for a split second throw it to anthony miller it's gonna be wide open because you know you're double teaming it a rob and when trey burton and or starts, burton if, if burton starts beating you up you're in trouble so anthony miller could be the least guarded player on the field and i love that angle but I think it's, I mean, it, maybe it doesn't equate to too, too much as a rookie, but I think it's, it's nice I think for it'll him to, to, enough. to gaining confidence and not being, you know, just sure the most heavily watched asset on the field. It helps him and, and Mitch kind of get on the same page a little bit and develop a nice rapport and, and something to build on definitely like going into the next season and all that kind of stuff. I like it. Yeah. It was a great pick. Should have gone off the board earlier. We were kind of blowing it. 
Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a quick break here. Two five. Two five. Anybody? You just want to mosey on after the break. 